Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. X570 and Ryzen 3000 are just a few days away and we're super keen. We were given the go ahead to share this video with you guys, but once again, we're not allowed to talk about any Ryzen 3000 stuff, so please stop asking in the comments, guys. It's getting a little bit old. Also, we can't discuss pricing because we don't even know what the pricing is, so please don't ask. And also, please don't ask like if this chip will go with this board and stuff because we don't know. And if and if we did, we couldn't tell you. Okay, we can only show you this board for this video. And with all of that said, I'm extremely excited to show you guys another X570 board. And this time it's another one from Gigabyte. And it's really, really tiny. In this video, we're checking out the X570i Aorus Pro Wi-Fi Mini ITX motherboard that supports Ryzen 2000 and 3000 CPUs. With all that said, let's check it out. Just before we start this video, I just want to make it super clear that our motherboard videos aren't reviews. They're just overviews so you guys can get an idea of the feature set with these new boards and what physically comes in the box when you buy a brand new motherboard. We don't do VRM analysis or board teardowns or anything like that because there's plenty of other channels out there that cover all of that stuff. We're not going to do them. We're not going to start doing them. That's why we don't do them. So don't ask why we don't do it. Anyway, let's check out the X570i Aorus Pro Wi-Fi Mini ITX board. You guys asked for it and here it is, the X570i Aorus Pro Wi-Fi. Let's get it out of that box so we can take a bit of a closer look at what you get with the board. Alright, the first thing we've got here is a bunch of SATA cables for your spinning rust or your 2.5 inch SSDs. Very, very nice. Yeah, I wonder when they're going to phase that stuff out on these ITX boards. Hmm. Next up is the Wi-Fi antenna for the Wi-Fi 6 that's integrated into the board. We'll talk about that a little bit later. It also supports Bluetooth 5.0 as well. And yeah, it's a little shark fin. Next up, we have this little thermal pad. Now this is for the chipset slash M.2, which we'll, we're gonna talk about a little bit further on in the video. Don't worry, not too much further on. And basically it's, yeah, it's a thermal interfacing material. Okay, next up we've got the uh, warranty commitment card. Basically it's Gigabyte's commitment to honor the warranty for this motherboard. Okay, moving along, what do we got next? Oh, we've got this little Aorus badge. Now, if you put this on your computer, it instantly makes you an MLG gamer. I'm not even lying. Well, actually, I kind of am. Okay, moving along. What do we got here? Okay, we've got the user manual. This basically is a manual to use the motherboard. It's got things like how to overclock and what all the BIOS settings do and all of that jazz and where everything plugs in. Next up, we have this guy right here. It's a 12 volt RGB extension cable. This is not addressable RGB. Yeah, they just included it into the box just because. And this uh, silver round disc type of device, which has all of the drivers for this motherboard. Now, I, I've addressed this many, many times. They should just put a USB stick in there with the drivers on it, make it nice and easy because yeah, no one's got optical drives. Righto, let's uh, take a closer look at this little guy and see what's going on on top of this brand new motherboard. Up the back, we've got an addressable RGB header. There's a PWM fan header. There's a USB 2.0 front panel header. There is also a USB 3.0 header, which you can see. There's another analog RGB 12 volt header. There is four SATA connectors for your spinning rust or 2.5 inch SSDs. There's the front panel connector for all your buttons and all of your lights and all of that jazz. And the 24 pin power connector to send all of that juice to your brand new ITX motherboard. Along the top there is a PWM fan connector and an 8 pin EPS power connector for the CPU. And never fear, there's also a front panel audio connector on the other side of the I.O. shield or towards the bottom of the motherboard. Next up, there is one 16 times PCIe Gen 4 slot for your GPU or if you're using an APU for any type of other add-in card. The most common thing you'll see on most X570 boards that we've mentioned in the past is the chipset fan and this mini ITX board is no different. And underneath the chipset fan and the chipset heatsink is another M.2 two slot. Speaking of M.2 slots, if you flip the board over, there is a full cover back plate that cools down the back side of the board and another Gen 4 PCIe M.2 slot. Yes, yes, I'm going to talk about VRMs and I'm going to keep it short and sweet. It's got an eight phase VRM and the entire IO shield is actually a giant fat heatsink. 
This board is extremely heavy, and yeah, it's more than adequate to cool those 8 VRMs. It's got a standard AM4 socket that supports Ryzen 2000 and 3000 CPUs, as well as standard cooler mounting for basically any cooler that will fit. And yeah, just be aware that this is for ICX. So if you're building a little system, yeah, make sure that cooler will fit inside of your case. It's got two DDR4 RAM slots that support overclock dual channel kits up to 4400 megahertz. Pretty impressive for an ITX board. Of course, this is 2019, there's an integrated IO shield as well as an HDMI port, a display port, two USB 3.0 ports, another HDMI port, there's also the BIOS flashback USB 3.0 port, another USB 3.0 port, the Q flash flashback button, there's a USB 3.1 type C port and a 3.1 type A port, gigabit ethernet, Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0 and audio. If you're interested in grabbing the X570i Aorus Pro Wi-Fi, unfortunately, like all of the other X570 boards we've covered, we're not allowed to talk about pricing or release date or anything like that. Well, actually, the release date will be on the 7th of the 7th, because that's the Ryzen. But anyway, then we will update the description and everything with all the price and all that stuff when we can share that info. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, you're not to do it. Obviously, tell us what you hated about it because the internet has lots of opinions about X570. <laughs> Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak. We seek. And yeah, this guy is like really, really small. I just wanted to add, this is the biggest box I've ever seen for a mini ITX board. It's absolutely huge. Thanks for watching.